In most online courses, part of your grade will be based on participation of class discussions. Although these postings may be awarded a relatively small percentage of the final mark, they are a vital part of the learning process. They provide an opportunity to share ideas, knowledge and experiences with fellow course participants. The discussion forum, along with email and other communication tools, forms the infrastructure to house the learning community. As you engage in discussion in your courses, think about how you can contribute to creating a learning community. Your online discussions provide a forum for lively, informative conversations on course-related topics. Participation in these discussions will increase your knowledge of the course content and help you meet the course learning outcomes. If you don't take part, you'll be missing out. The more you contribute, the more you gain. So why do we have discussions in an online course? Well, without the walls and group dynamics of the traditional classroom, these dialogues become the classroom. But it's important to establish rules and guidelines around the discussions so that everybody feels welcome and comfortable. Here's a few tips to help establish good communication in an online course. Post as early as possible. This will get the discussion going and help the conversation flow. At the same time, don't be offended if fellow learners don't post right back. Commitments other than school often interfere with their best intentions. Don't think of postings as assignments. Don't focus on formulating perfect answers. Remember, this is an arena to develop conversations like those that would take place in the traditional face-to-face -face classroom. Use emoticons, such as smiley faces or other contextual clues to help clarify your message. Your instructor and fellow students can't see your face to judge whether you're confused or frustrated, so let them know using whatever tools you have at your disposal. Consider all possible meanings of messages you receive and ask for clarification if you're unsure. Remember, communication in cyberspace lacks the visual and nonverbal cues that we use in traditional classrooms. Keep posting short. Usually around 500 words is plenty. Paragraphs should be four to six sentences long and properly capitalized and punctuated. Inform group members if you're going to be absent from the discussion for any length of time. Be respectful. In order to create a space similar to that in the classroom, everyone needs to feel welcome and valued. The discussion areas should be a safe place to create collective knowledge and explore the topics in the course. Be willing to share your experiences. Expect that at times your ideas may be challenged, perhaps in ways that are not comfortable. Respond to at least two other course members for each activity, as the sharing of ideas and perspectives is likely to be the most rewarding part of the course. Created using Powtoon.